Good morning. This is Ian from Ian Bell from Custom Gateway. Thanks for joining us this morning for this week's webinar. Today we're going to be looking at how trade promotional suppliers are going to work with e-commerce and how the custom product platform from Custom Gateway can obviously help that. So Custom Gateway, we work in all sorts of different markets, providing uh, an e-commerce solution for personalised and on-demand products. So just initially, I wanted to look at some of the markets we're already working in. So on the business to consumer side, this takes up uh, a big area of our business, but we, we work with people who are providing photos and photo gifts, personalised gifts, fashion and licensed content. There's a big area in... Um, greetings cards, stationery and phone cases, as well as a lot more people now getting involved in personalised home decor, engraved gifts, wall arts, teamware, personalised books and newspapers. That's on the business to consumer side, but on the B2B side, the business to business side, there are various areas which are now employing our technology. So there is the promotional products uh, market, which we'll um, look at in more depth in a minute, but then also very much aligns the workwear and embroidery market, as well as web to print specialists, various companies working doing trophies and awards online, signs and banners online, as well as point of sale, designing all of these items online and ordering online, um, sales promotion activities for agencies clients are using the technology packaging companies corporate events and branding for corporate events are done and printers doing paper print amongst other things so these are various areas within the b2b market but specifically wanted to look at the promotional product side so the b2b customers are really companies that are made up of multiple users rather than individual consumers in the beats for b2c business to business usually has fewer online users placing more orders but all users are linked to companies for b2b you need more data on users and options for giving companies more control over the users this isn't needed at all in the business to consumer market B2B users need more options to create new users, addresses, cost centers, approvals, projects, and budgets. B2B customers make more repeat transactions, so need features for quick, for um, easy, quick order forms. Orders generally have a higher transaction value for B2B versus B2C. Payments is often on account for B2B rather than by credit card as it would be for business to consumer or those obviously can cross over. Pricing needs more options for B2B with different prices for different customers. Business consumers tend to use discount, discount codes. So this is less common in the B2B market and related products are more commonly used in B2C, but all of this can be used in a B2B environment as well. B2B can, customers often want more information on reports, um, per, on purchases, etc. So the point of these items here, it shows that the business to business market is clearly more complicated simply by the requirements of the business buyer. So the key to the success of offering an e-commerce solution to the B2B market is how trade suppliers of promotional products embrace the technology available and change the traditional approach to pricing and producing products for this market. But first, I think we really need to look at some of the online competition. Regardless of what you think of Vistaprint, they have changed the paper print market and brought so much of it online, offering the smallest of quantities at good prices by utilizing and developing technology. They're owned by Simpress, they have facilities all over the world. Now, this is a really obvious example. Everybody knows of the business, but there are plenty of others out there offering web-to-print solutions. So this is seen mainly as web-to-print, but how does this really affect the UK, European, and worldwide promotional products industry? Five years ago, Vistaprint expanded its portfolio of products to enter the promotional products marketplace and subsequently launched their uh, promotional product site. 
Research has shown that the UK and Ireland promotional products market in 2015 was worth an estimated £850 million. Estimated figures for Vistaprint turnover in 2014 were €1.5 billion. Euros. So you can see the scale of the operation. June 17's figures for Vistaprint suggested that that turnover is likely to be up to 2.1 billion. But that's an increase of approximately three quarters of the total UK promotional market since expanding the product range and entering the promotional market. Now, clearly that's not the only factor in the increase, but it really can't be ignored. The threat is not the important point. It's the trend and the mind change and the widespread acceptance of the business model. That is the very important point. What Vistaprint and other companies like them are actually doing to take the purchasing of branded and personalizable products online. The promotional products market generally accepted as being based on the following. There are trade suppliers who produce products, sell their products to promotional products distributors, who in turn deal with the end user client, sort out the requirements and then pass the requirements back to the suppliers. The suppliers generally don't deal with the end users because they use the promotional products distributors as their sales force. So the partnership between the trade suppliers and the promotional distributor is critical to the success of both parties and obviously to the service that's received by the end users. So the traditional promotional products market is based on mass production techniques, large volumes of the same products branded with the same design sold at the lowest price with the tightest of margins for all involved. This method is never going to work for today's market of instant ordering, very specific individual requirements, and the internet driving consumer and business purchases. As you can see with a small graphic at the bottom, the mass production model, the consumer is dictated to by the manufacturer because of the processes that it employs. So screen printing, pad printing, litho, they've been some of the main production methods but with digital now taking up an ever-increasing proportion of the smaller volume orders and the digital process is getting quicker and better quality, the quantities where digital production is economically viable are increasing. And this is encroaching on the quantities usually produced with traditional techniques. This is driving consumer choice and the ability to order what they want when they want and in terms of promotional merchandise, far greater flexibility. The boundary between the B2C and the B2B markets is less defined and getting less defined all the time. And the consumer experience that you would see in a B2C site is now expected in the business arena. And all this is being driven by mass customization. So mass customization is basically the interactive dialogue between the customers and the manufacturers in the promotional products market obviously we have the distributor in the middle of this equation but by customers demanding choice and flexibility of ordering the mass customization model has developed so mass customization in promotional products the interactive dialogue that I've just mentioned is driven by the internet. The internet needs to be simple to use. So one of the key elements to make it simple to order promotional merchandise through, well, one of the key elements is to make it simple to order promotional merchandise through the supplier distributor end user business model. Systems drive the success of e-commerce. Custom Gateway's custom product platform provides the solution to set up products for e-commerce and a method for these products to be posted for sale in distributor and end user websites and to automatically route orders back to the supplier to take into production. Don't forget that mass production is product centric, whereas mass customization is customer centric. The focus is on the customer, giving the customer what they require. 
So for the successful implementation of e-commerce for promotional products, the process from start to finish needs to be looked at in a different way to the way it has been um, for using um, mass production techniques. Products need to be set up with accurate print areas or decoration areas. This will allow online creation of branded products. Sizes, colors, and other attributes can all be set upon the products as you would expect, but the accurate print areas provide print-ready artwork. Pricing should be provided to include setup costs if they are actually needed. Digital production gives you greater flexibility. Automatic artwork generation and removal of the proofing process. So if you can get a customer to upload a design, which is exactly the business model that Vistaprint use and others, if they can upload a design onto a product, see what the product looks like and place the order, the proofing process is taken out of the equation. If that then automatically generates the, the artwork and routes that through to production, that makes it far more straightforward. And that's exactly what the custom product platform and Gateway's whole platform will provide. But all of these elements are critical to streamline the process from an inquiry to dispatch. So the inquiry in this case is somebody browsing the internet looking for promotional products. That's the nature of the inquiry. But then to take that from finding the product, designing the product, and then dispatching the products, that is where process um, needs to be in place. So Gateway CPP is powering thousands of websites around the world to offer an end-to-end web-to-print facility for any product type to any market. Using CPP in the promotional products market requires suppliers to react to the changes in the market and enable the facility of using their products in e-commerce websites for their distributor, distributor customers to offer this service to the end users. We can see this is already happening and the emphasis of online ordering is only going to get more and more important and expected by the end clients. Custom Gateway's aim is to make it simple to design products online and to route those into production, regardless of the quantity. Um, but we have an awful lot of processes in place which will enable this to be done. And we're really keen to see, as we can see how companies like Vistaprint and the like are taking more and more product ranges online, we can offer this facility uh, through the custom product platform. So we're really keen to talk to anybody who is interested in looking at this in more detail. I hope that the information that I've provided this morning is of interest. This is how we are seeing markets change and with the adoption of uh, the mass customization process and the demand from consumers and from businesses alike to be able to order online. Um, so if you would like more information about anything to do with um, the presentation this morning, my contact details are below. Feel, please feel free to get in touch. Um, we'd be more than happy to talk it through in more detail with you. Thanks for joining this morning. And we look forward to speaking to you soon.